Hey everybody, this is Christopher Donnell, one of the pastors here at Urbana UMC, and it's Monday, meaning it's time for another Motivational Monday. And uh, I'm sitting here with, this might be confusing, but Tammy and Tammy, who are <laughs> teachers, both of them are teachers, and uh, we thought it'd just be a great idea. I mean, it, it is that time of the year. It is upon us. Back to school is happening, and uh, I know my kid's starting on the 23rd. I think you're starting on the 19th, 19th. 18th, so... It's here. So we thought it'd be great to hear some teachers' perspectives, especially after a little bit of a challenging last year, but maybe some challenges coming this year, but also, you know, why it's so important to have teachers in our, our lives and our kids' lives and, and how we can support them. And ultimately, at the end of this, this segment, we're going to pray for our teachers and students and administration as we go back to school. So with that being said... Who are you and, um, you know, what, uh, where do you, where do you teach? What have you taught? Um, and like, yeah, well, tell me about where you're, where you're at. Tammy Rockenball. I teach fourth grade math at Mechanicsburg. Um, this will be year number 25. Nice. Yeah. Um, <laughs> so I previously have been an intervention specialist, taught three, four multi-age, taught traditional third grade, taught first grade, and this is year number 15 in fourth grade. Okay. Um, love teaching um and love my kids awesome. so that's probably the biggest reason why i do what i do yeah so you've been you're currently at mechanicsburg mm -hmm. always been at mechanicsburg always been at mechanicsburg mm -hmm. so you've been there 25 years yeah this will be your 25. wow that's awesome so when you um 25 years ago were getting ready to sign up for <laughs> this why what motivated you to do that probably because i babysat when i was younger okay. um I knew I did not want to work in a factory. I had yeah. done that um, coming out of high school. Yay to all the factory workers. Right. Not my cup of tea. <laughs> um, but just, I love working with kids. Yeah. I love seeing them grow. That's awesome. So. Very cool. And who are you? I am Tammy Lillibridge. Um, I teach in Delaware City Schools. I This is year 33 for me. So I'm getting close, almost there. Yeah. Um, why did I go... Yep. into teaching so 33 years ago what happened that said i need to do this well my mom recently told me and i kind of forgot this that i was the kid in the neighborhood that set up school in their basement <laughs> i even had a chalkboard on a stand uh -huh. and as soon as school was out i was teaching the neighborhood kids i just i don't know i love teaching i love um you know kids learning it's fun to see when the light bulb finally mm -hmm. clicks on and they understand um it's always been who i am i guess yeah um i have taught third grade for let me think 30 years i taught first grade one year the i last, taught first grade for only one year as well bless those kindergarten <laughs> right. first grade teachers mm -hmm. i cried the whole year my back hurt <laughs> from bending over they're so little they're just little babies and yeah. i needed to change on that real quick and then i've taught fifth grade <laughs> math the lot last year and i will teach it this year also in social studies awesome so you both have been in elementary then mm -hmm. yes your whole life. so um delaware city mechanicsburg i'll say rural right? exempted village yeah. yeah very different places and um probably even last year handled COVID differently based on yes. you know the surrounding areas um you were in school the whole year 100 percent of the time i had all of my kids the entire time um other than between thanksgiving and christmas the break yeah um but we had kids that were online learners mm -hmm. which we are not doing this year um but I was so thankful to have my kids at 100%. Yeah. Despite the masking, despite the social distancing, having them with me was just such a blessing. Right, for sure. And you guys were not. In no, we were hybrid the whole year, which um, presented the challenge of, you know, one day I would have, one week I would have the kids three days, and then the next week two days, and then we Flip. had a group A and B. Yep. Um, the challenge there was, I definitely believe the learning. We taught half the curriculum last year. Mm. That will be an issue this year when they come back to school, that we're going to have to play a little catch-up, plus then the new curriculum that we need to teach in their new grade level. Um, 
there were good things about being hybrid. Um, I only had 12 kids, gave me a real chance to work more one-on-one -on -one as opposed to the 27 I'm going to have this year. Mm -hmm. um, so, you know, you really got to know the kids on a relationship yeah. level, what their needs were academically and emotionally. Um, but it was... It was hard on them to be at home also with yeah. parents trying to work and trying to encourage them to do their work at home. You know, somehow they thought that they only went to school two days. They didn't have to work the other three. <laughs> right. that so was that confusing. was a challenge. But um, And definitely hard on parents because parents had to become teachers who are not trained teachers. Exactly. So that was very difficult for them, right. which then their frustration level was high when they come back to you because mm -hmm. mom or dad or whoever it was was not teaching it the same way that you do so those kinds of things made probably made it rough for you too it did and and then we would get those frustrating emails from parents which mm -hmm. i totally understand mm -hmm. um so yeah we're very looking forward to this year yes absolutely <laughs> so in that same kind of vein challenges and maybe you can talk about last year but we kind of already did but what in general what would you say is the hardest part about teaching and maybe um, maybe just a challenge that you know you're going to have to deal with, but it's just a challenge. It probably comes down to, it's not necessarily the kids. The kids are wonderful. They come in and they want to be there yeah, and they want to learn. Totally. Um, it sometimes comes down to the expectations of some parents. Mm -hmm. um, and just sometimes building relationships with parents is just as important as building relationships with the kids. Right. Definitely. Um, so, and after teaching as long as I have, and in a small school, I get the blessing of having right. the Sims. Yeah. Or even or. I now have had the opportunity to have, I had you uh, and now I have your kid. Yep. Yeah, I did too. Yeah. I've had that also already. Which so. is great. I mean, cause then you actually get the full circle. Yeah. Which is, it's a wonderful feeling to know, oh, I had you mm -hmm. and oh, I get to have your babies right. now. Like, yeah. And sometimes the apple doesn't fall far from the tree. <laughs> yeah, in fact. This is true. So what would um, you say then? The challenges, um, I would say the time involved. Mm -hmm. Looking back after 33 years, I think perhaps my family missed some of my time mm -hmm. because of my dedication to the job. Um, the challenges also, you know, behavior-wise, I, we can deal with that mm -hmm. usually unless we have a severe case but um sometimes i personally just wish if the parents had a concern that they would just right away email me mm -hmm. or call or text or something right. so we could solve it right away sometimes emails are not kind and kind yeah. of hurts our feelings we're people too right you know yeah. so instead of putting it on social media right. that's very hurtful yeah um so that i would say that's probably the biggest challenge right now is social media can be your friend but sometimes it cannot be your that's friend a great point yeah, I was thinking about that. Um, I was talking, we have a, I think it's called Remind app. Mm -hmm. And mm -hmm. I think that's how we communicate with our teacher. There was a couple apps, but I think that's the one we communicate with our teacher. And I was talking with Becca and she mentioned it and then we expanded upon it, how accessible teachers are even more now. Right. <laughs> and, <clears throat> and we were so blessed to have teachers that like, if, you know, our kid comes home with a, a report card that we didn't understand something, we were able to fire off a question and, you know, it was 8 o'clock at night and our teacher responded. I was like, you know, they didn't have to do that. Right. Um, and now they're more accessible than ever. But then to know that their job really never stops, um, you know, because then you just you get those emails and those things at night. But, yeah, it's there's such a better way to deal with the problem than to just blast it on Facebook or whatever. Right. Because, yeah, you have to come and have a conversation um, because there's always two sides to every story. And at the end of the day, we're all trying to do our best, right. right? Right. Yeah. That that was our motto last year with, you know, parents, kids, other teachers, um, kindness. Just yeah. let's everybody have patience, kindness. Yeah. We're going to get through this. Yep. I truly believed everybody, parents at home, t teachers, kids, I truly believe that we did our best in this situation. Yeah. So it reminds me of a, a, 
a quote I just saw last night. And I shared it. It said, uh, "If cable news, this is kind of if cable news is, is keeping you from unity with your brothers and sisters in Christ, turn it off, yeah. <laughs> unplug it, unsubscribe from it, and prioritize church over cable." And I think that's the same thing. Is like if if what we're doing off you know, outside of school is distracting from right. what's supposed to be happening, the kindness that we should be sharing. Mm -hmm. If all, I mean, we all have different opinions on last year and, and in general in life, how to teach, how to work, you know, where to go on vacation, whatever it is in your household. But if, if what our opinions are, are detracting from being kind and good to each mm -hmm. other, then we're missing right. it. Yep. Yeah, that's great. Um, so what, so those are kind of your challenges. Um, think back over 25 and 33 years, um, what was a success story that stuck out to you? Um, a moment where you're like, this is why I'm here. <laughs> this is, this is why I teach. This is, this is it. I don't know if you can put it down to one. No. Sure. I, I mean, I think it goes back to all of those relationships. Mm -hmm. yeah. Like the, the difference that you made in individual kids' lives. And they'll come back and tell you. Yeah. You know, it's, it's not only the learning piece of it. It's, um, for some kids, it's school is their security. Right. It's the place that they're yep. loved unconditionally. Yep. Yep. They're the, you know, they're fed. Yep. They're nurtured. Yep. So I don't know if I can remember one exact child, but I know there have been many along the way. Sure. And I'm pretty sure that both of us could write a book about <laughs> the funny things that kids have said or <laughs> oh, yeah. like those moving things that kids have said. Mm -hmm. Like, so... Yeah, we said uh, during VBS, one of the questions was, it was the first first night or second night, where do you feel known? Yes. And there was kids yes. who said school. I mean, they, yeah. you know, yep. you know, we're, we're trying to create an environment at church where they feel known, obviously. But I, mean, I think that speaks to so many teachers, administrators, I and mean, even um, janitors and, um, you know, the, the, the lunch people. Yep. You know, I, I yep. remember Absolutely. Sayla coming home. Absolutely. And always tell me that this one lunch lady, she just was a lady, and she always just like made a point to ask how Sailor's Day was. And I'm yep. like, those little things, if you have somebody asking you throughout yeah, your day, how absolutely. are you? We care about you. We invest in, you know, that it, matters. A school is just not teachers. Right. It's everyone. Yeah. It takes a village to get those little guys in the door yep. and back out the door. Yep. Every day. <laughs> yep. Yeah. And home on the bus. And, yeah. And home yeah. on the bus. And they get off of the right, yep. you know, we're, yep. we're blessed to. But in saying that, too, you've got to remember that there are Christian teachers in public schools. Mm -hmm. Yeah. That yeah. Uh, segues right into my next question. So how would you say your faith has played a role in you as a teacher or teaching or um, how you've lived your life um, in that job? Well, I think for me, I mean, no, we cannot actively in a public school right. talk about our right. faith, but it's all through action, basically. Yeah. It's, it's Which it should um, be anyways, what right? people should be observing, <laughs> right. whether it's your colleagues, whether it's kids, you know, sometimes when situations or parent situations with parents, I always think to myself, now what would Jesus do? Mm -hmm. Or I sit there and think, oh, God's children. Right. These parents are... Or the, this situation with this child or whatever, um, you know, this is a shot of God. How, mm -hmm. would, how would Jesus want me to react and handle that situation? So I try to live my faith th at school but through, through my actions and my words, mm -hmm. right. even though I can't actually say, sure. Jesus, yeah. you know. Absolutely. I, I agree wholeheartedly with everything that you just said, Tammy. Like, it's just about understanding that everyone's doing the best that they can mm -hmm. right absolutely so with that um you're we're getting ready to go back to the school year uh you know summer break which summer break is always a challenge right <laughs> no matter what happens it seems before. like we yeah. just get out of school and yeah we're here we are yeah, yeah. well so and i know that i used my summer to get ready for this coming fall and mm -hmm. i was busy doing training and mm -hmm. building things that my kids were going to be using. And so, right. you know, it's not necessarily a break. break right? <laughs> yeah. mean, I just have more freedom. Yeah. yeah. You mean you don't just get, go on vacation for no. three months? Oh, no. Okay. Or we can <laughs> or sleep in a little. No. <laughs> I do get to do that. Yeah, just yeah. a little. Yeah. Just a little. Five o'clock alarm's going to come <laughs> very early. Oh, yeah. yeah. So what would you say... <clears throat> 
um, we, what we want to do in a minute is pray for you, teachers, you all, administrators, parents, kids. What would you say would be, um, you know, how can we support that? How can we pray? What could we pray for? Um, Patients that the districts are, they're doing what they think is best. Mm -hmm. um, Absolutely. You know, nothing is with malintent. Right. Right. And yes, absolutely nothing. Everybody is doing the best they can do. Like our situation with COVID, the numbers might might have been very different right. than what Mechanicsburg. Right. Mm -hmm. So our superintendent and our board made the decision to stay hybrid based right. on our numbers. Yeah. Um, some parents like that. Some parents didn't right. like that. Mm -hmm. I mean, and that's their choice. Mm -hmm. But you have to remember, no one, teachers, bus driver. I mean, I can honestly say within, I mean, I, I really feel that everyone in our district, and I'm sure in all yes. districts across the state, really are there to do the best to help the mm -hmm. kids. Yeah. Yep. Sometimes we might make a poor oh, choice absolutely. or yeah. something yeah. could have been done mm -hmm. better. I mean, yeah. we're people too, Wait. but... People you make know. mistakes. Teachers <laughs> make mistakes. Can you Sometimes. Imagine? No. I didn't but know. just to know that we're all in this together and it takes all of us to make it successful. Right. Yeah. It's it's much easier to point the finger instead of open up your hand to go help. Right. right? Yeah. And so patience I think is a great yep. thing um, to remember. And I, I would just add to be kind, right? Yep. To piggyback. Just yes, be kind. The kindness. The kindness definitely um, so I, I was thinking about two things that I, I thought about I admired about both of you guys what I've seen so far as your teachers and you know for you Tammy I've always noticed how you um, summertime comes and you're like ready to get your classroom in order and not that you're not this is what I noticed right. about Tammy but um, I always thought that was so cool how you were meticulous about preparing and I think you know what a what a godly word to prepare right to right. to make it hospitable to make it invite you know you can invite right. people to it and they feel warm and and welcome there and i think that is such a great attribute to prepare a place for kids because they matter right they do matter they matter a and then i was thinking about you and i was thinking how um, i even heard about a success story um at a vbs of a, f a former student where you've made the point to know kids names and you always call them by their name and how they want to be called. And I think that is where kids feel known is when you call them by their name. And and not just my name, but how I want you to say it. Right. Right? Yeah. <laughs> Which just can be a challenge at times. It time. can be a challenge at times. Yeah. And I think that's very awesome and very much a godly attribute as well to, to call somebody by their name, to know them, and, and to, again, the hospitable act right. of welcoming kids into a space that, you know, is just brick and mortar. Right. But... You know, it's there's their more world. Than it. it's, their, it's world. their world. Yeah, they're it's there their... a lot. <laughs> yeah. yeah. Oh, yeah. They, they spend are. probably more time at school than they do sometimes at home. Mm -hmm. Right. Absolutely. Right. So, uh, what, well, let's pray this morning for teachers, administrators, parents, and all that, and um, pray for you all as you start your school school year. And uh, and we're excited to see how this plays out. You know, pray that everybody stays. And I just pray for an easy transition healthy. back. Yeah. It'll be great. I know it's I, gonna be great. Yeah, it is. Where am I gonna put twenty-seven bodies? But yeah, it'll be awesome. It's gonna be great. <laughs> well, Heavenly Father, we're so thankful this year. Um, we're thankful for a season, a, a bit of rest for teachers uh, with the summer break. God, uh, but it is it is time to go back to school. And uh, Lord, we lift up parents and students and teachers, administrators, bus drivers, um, uh, kitchen work, and um, janitors and, and groundskeepers and all, everyone in school resource officers and all those who go into making uh, a school a place where kids can feel known loved accepted and ultimately um yeah that they, they would they would see jesus and um and how we act and live there and in and, and those teachers and, and those people so lord uh, we we pray for kindness and patience this year god may we be kind uh, think about um, how our words affect people, how we can treat people, and, and ultimately um, that there's some things we may disagree with, um, but they they don't make or break our, our, our places of, of, of education. It's just a part of the, the plan. And Lord, also, um, we just lift up, uh, yeah, the... Uh, the kindness and, and the patience and uh, that we'd be patient with one another um, in those moments of disagreement. And um, again, think about our words and uh, maybe say less of them. 
<laughs> and uh, we just uh, lift up Tammy and Tammy and their school year and their classrooms, and we're thankful for them and their their light in our community, but also where they teach. And we just ask that you bless them and our teachers. Amen. 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 Well, thanks for joining Thank us you. today. Yeah. And, uh, Hopefully you all feel encouraged to go be kind and patient this week, but also this whole school year uh, coming up. And uh, yeah, if you see a teacher, give them a high five. Thank them for all that they do. So thank you. Thank, thank you. you. You're and uh, we'll see you guys next week. Okay. Bye-bye.